Our next mayor also needs to understand the dynamics of our downtown community. Because downtown is the economic heart of our entire city. You guys ready for a War II mayoral event meet and greet? It has to do with business. Business, business, business. Where are we going? I think we're going to go hang out with the mayor. Is that right? I don't, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to. That's alright, I got you covered via email. Oh, nice. So you can see what, where we're going so you can pitch it to the people. The people inside this camera. There are so many people right now who are like trying to throw money at me to spend it for them, but there's no deals out there. Wait, wait I got a deal. Can I have the money? Yeah. All right. Hey, everybody. Daniel Kukowski's birthday today. He's going to be kicking it off. All right, so what we're doing today to celebrate my birthday is go to a networking event. Things that we like to do, um, we're gonna do them to celebrate. So we're going to meet the Ward 2 representative for St. Paul, who's gonna be introducing the mayoral candidates. It's kind of a fundraising thing, but also a good opportunity to network. So let's go brush some elbows with uh, the new mayor here. <laughs> and I got a couple of flows. You let me sit and I'm giving you all of my heart. Everything that I feel inside, don't look up out on the records. Repugnant pundits that push agendas and pass judgment. My cop. He's so late. Oh, are you? He's late. Some past me, but still find time for the crack who have to miss the madness. This mind number tactic has now been a major factor. Well, you see, yes, monotonous becomes my daily practice. Uh, vlog buddies, they hug it out. Right? Exactly. Come on. Uh, <laughs> hey, they, uh, last Saturday, they made a day. I think they bonded. You told them to throw in a tie today? Dude, that's all him. Oh, really? Dan is on fire. I feel like his shoulders got bigger. Dude, everything. <laughs> he grew an inch. <laughs> that's crazy. Since he started VSM, I swear to God, his shoulders got bigger and he grew an inch. In my family at work, they whole lives. I've seen them struggle and survive. That's why I learned the meaning of sacrifice. To love someone so much that you put your dreams on the shelf. To provide a life for them that you never had for yourself. I recall all the nights in D1. Arguments over no funds. Roaches inside the dresser, but never said no for less. These rappers speak of progression as though they've actually seen it. This mind boggling and selfishness is no materialistic shit. Can fix all of your problems and situations in this. All right, everybody, we're here at the event. Uh, we were invited actually from a uh, Stanley. He, he's the person that we met at our last uh, vlog, or actually networking event in Bridgewater. So let's see if we can um, get a little minute with him, see what he has to say. I'm doing the best I can, I have to put myself in their shoes. I have a critical in mind to judge what someone's been through, or why they act the way they act and do the things that they do. It's all perspective, we subject ourselves to different advices, and my advice is be decisive with the Clinton Blazer, Albertson the Blazer Group. This is an event to meet all the candidates that are running for Mayor of St. Paul 2017. Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Your bigger picture than the one you currently view. Yes, love. Tonight is economic development downtown. Downtown is the economic heart of our entire city. But it's also a lot more than that because thanks to the efforts of Rich and Clint and others, 9,000 people call downtown home now. It's a neighborhood. And it's also our cultural seat, it's our entertainment center, it's our civic and government center, and all of those different uses sometimes interact in really interesting and sometimes and confrontational ways. And so our next mayor also needs to understand those opportunities and those challenges and have a strategy in place for dealing with them. And what's gonna happen in just a moment is I'm gonna turn it over to our mayoral candidates. They're each gonna have two to three minutes to answer that exact question. What are the opportunities and challenges you see for business downtown? And what specifically would you do to address those challenges and, and harness those opportunities? 
One of them make it, I guess. I know I live with the criticisms. People are giving the beginning, they put it upon the pet that's soon. A pen that fucking thoughts, but I never asked for change. My work ethic's ridiculous, and yours is not the same. I swear to God that I wrote it all with a pure intention. The truest testament with no excessive false aesthetics. You couldn't imagine or fathom the effort I'm exuding. My heart and soul in this ship, and yet they forced me to prove it. Who in the fuck could have done it the way that I've done it with all of the pressure? No label back in the facetious claims of independence. No hidden investment, this shit is developed in my mind. I pray to God and ask for strength and patience through these times. It's to the point that I'm past the same, but it's intertwined. 4:30 a.m. I'm up, but my day is just my girl. I'm living a life of focus. I'm giving you nothing but realness. But give it a couple of minutes, I swear you'll hear all my devotion. Feel like I'm stagnant, I'm running in place. All of the time that I've invested, if I spent it in vain, giving you a better effort. I hope that that was enough to just give you a little taste of each of the candidates' platforms. We hope your appetite was whetted. Uh, and so if you want to hear more, they will be hanging out and mingling with you for the rest of the evening. All of the time that I've invested, if I spent it in vain, giving you a better effort, should I network more? Got me thinking to myself, what I do all of this for? How you complain about the hatred, but you accepting the love? So I take the good with the bad, and I ignore the assumptions. I ain't read comments in years, cause they don't do nothing. Hi, I'm Laura Key Jordan, small management consulting company called 4PSR, which will create human centric strategies to really solve America's challenging problems and create market distinction and disruption. For me, I never take for granted the fact I'm alive, it's a blessing. All right, so we just finished up at the Ward 2 mayoral candidate meet and greet. Uh, what did everybody think? I thought it was great. It was nice to get to meet all the candidates personally and hear a little bit about what they stand for. I agree. I think it was great to meet them and understand what they're trying to do for the city as well as the entrepreneurs and new business owners trying to come into the city. I think it was fantastic. I can't wait to see how many of the candidates, I believe it was five, actually come to our podcast. They've all been officially invited. You guys will be the first one to know who doesn't show up and who actually keeps their word and shows up. <laughs> We're putting everybody out there. It's about keeping promises, campaign promises, baby. That's right. What do you guys think? Hey, we're excited to be part of this as well and see all the candidates. I mean, it's, it's exciting to hear what people's plans are for uh, St. Paul, especially this is a... This is an up and coming, I mean, I don't know if it's upcoming, it's already established, but it's in comparison to Minneapolis, it's exciting to see what St. Paul is doing for the future as well. Uh, it's always good to not go to only like real estate events, but also political events. There's a lot of things that are involved when it comes to real estate transactions and hearing about how uh, the development for the city is something that uh, you can't buy for. Can't buy for. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, we'll see you guys. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Daniel Krakowski, the EVP of VSM Real Estate. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below, or if you're ready to join the movement, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.